So that's it guys, we know how to catch them now. In today's video I will show you how to catch great numbers of big river fish using basic really float tactics. The river is just right there. I will wade in and we'll start hammering them. As you can see guys, I'm approaching that little bit where the flow goes into little channel and I'm hiding like away from the, from the fish behind the bushes and so on. Obviously I'm after very big chub and they will be very very crafty as always. So I have to make sure that I'm not spooking them before, you know, catching a few. As I say, I have absolutely everything on me. Still, I'm traveling very, very light. We have my bait, my net, and my rod. Spare hooklings, spare floats, and things as well on me in my little rucksack. But in any case, I'm mobile, I'm hunting fish. Let's see. The rig is nice and ready. I just need to go a little bit deeper here from, from memory. It's a little bit deeper here. Right. Big bait goes on, big muscle. I will try to tuck myself into the bushes as much as I can. Right, first cast. There is a very good chance that I will hook a fish right away. If they are here, actually this is what, what should happen. Nothing yet. Will adjust my drag as well. Just the conditions for chubbing are, are not perfect, you know, as they like the sun and it's overcast today. But still, I should get a few bites, I'm certain. Not sure, probably a little, little snag. No fish on the first cast. Hmm, interesting. Maybe they will make me uh, work for, for every bite. That looked like a bite, but very, very gentle one, if it was. Yeah, yeah, it was a chub. Destroyed my bait. Right, good sign. Still, I would have liked to hook uh, one and hopefully biggest one, you know, right away. Okay, let's see if we can do any better now. That fluff on the, on the top is not helping with the seeing the float. Tiny float as well. Obviously, it's a very high possibility that someone uh, was wading through here or maybe even like people with uh, canoes went through many times because that's a very popular stretch for fishermen and many other activities as well. Yep, finally. Please stay on. Nice by just held my... Uh, my rig in one place was not aggressive, but they are not feeding aggressively today. Good fish, very nice chub, good good few pounds. I, I won't go to meet him because I don't want to risk, you know, spooking the other ones. I just will have to pull him out from those. Yeah, good, 
good three four pounds please stay on mr chubb got him yes we have the mark check him out hey quality chub Mwah! i love them big chub they are really the smartest fish in the river by far and to catch them you have to be you know you have to be on top of your game pretty much especially in shallow water i have stopped the fishing to run you through the tackle i'm using in today's session and some of the bits in my setup really are crucial but i will talk about everything you see in the shot right now so the rod is not really important but i'm using drennan puddle chucker at 10 feet nice and really light balanced rod and for this fishing when you are using light rigs and casting upstream you don't need long rod at all since the reel again is not important uh, i am using now diva fuego at 2000 or 2500 again reel is not important then on the reel i have braided line and that's very very important and you want to use fine braid for example now i have 0 0.10 fine braid is needed to allow you to cast those light rigs with thicker mono kind of to land big fish you would need to use like 0 0.18 at least and to cast rigs i'm casting you would not be able to achieve that hence fine braided line as i say of about 0 0.10 millimeters in diameter and then i have another crucial element and that's my tiny float that's a Drennan Crystal Dibba at 0 0.6 grams. Again, this float is clear. It does not cast any shadow onto the bottom like whatsoever. Therefore, big chub are easier to fool. Then I have a tiny swivel here. Again, I like to use swivel here. That's a size 20, I believe. Just to reduce that twist because I will be using big baits, muscles that is. And then I have about up to a meter of like a shock leader, if you will, of 0 0.23 fluorocarbon. Then I have a couple of stud shot at size 8. Again, they are more or less in the middle of that leader. And then I have my hook link of 20 centimeters. You won't be able to see it that well, but again, I have attached it that leader loop to loop and on the end I have hook which is a guru extra strong cop in size 10 and then I have a pellet band and I attach my bait just by extending that band with my fingers just grabbing like that putting my muscle meat inside and then releasing the other fingers and then my bait gets secured by that band it's very very secure way of uh, having the bait attached onto the rig you can cast and cast and cast until you catch a fish so yeah that's my tackle in a nutshell Yep, smaller fish, I think, yeah, smaller fish still. Happy to catch him. No, that's actually not that small fish, it just... What's happening there? Yeah, that's a decent fish, it just was swimming to more, towards me. Uh, good, good two pounds. That was interesting, I was thinking, oh no, that will be small fish not what I want but it's not a small fish like good two pounds easy not maybe quite three but three but yeah good two pounds nice bite just the fatty thank you now I'm going with a very very big muscle massive probably the biggest I have let's see if it will produce the biggest chub
easy. Cast in front of the bush and Flo will take my rig into the bush. That was good bite. Steon, that's a good fish. It's digging towards them bushes, but just managed to pull him away. Whew. That one was digging towards those bushes quite well, but just managed to pull him. It's coming towards me, Veraya. Please stay on, that's a quality chub. Go out of them beads. Nice bush. Ho ho. This one is a beauty. Not not as big as the first one, but this one is a beauty. Like brand new fish, guys. Perfect mouth. Perfect fish. Wow. Mwah. It was a little bite, but. It was like so gentle. Still I struck and I felt a fish. The hook bait is kinda okay. At least for one more cast. a little bit further actually. What is that? What is happening here? That just might be a bubble or super big chub. I can't control him. No, it feels like a chub guys, but that will be, if I will land this one, this will be, oh yeah, yeah, that's a big chub. Easy four pounds from what I saw. That was insane. How it was holding the bottom, I was, you know, thinking, oh no, it will be a bubble. I will make sure that it would not break me at the end. It will slacken up my uh, clutch, drag, call it as you wish. That's a quality chub in the net. Whew. Splashed my face as well, don't care. Whew. That is a big fish, guys. Maybe not quite, but close to five, I would say, really close to five. I will try to show that fish for you in a sec. We'll give it some line. Yeah, that is one big fat chub. Again, super quality hook just in the corner there. How about that, guys? Ah, chub juggling. And, and he's perfect as well, like perfect fish. All scales are there. Woohoo! Yes! Thank you. I will make another pause from fishing to talk you through why this method is so effective. Basically what you are trying to achieve is perfect presentation of a big lumpy bait that is muscle. So if you can imagine you are coming from behind because active fish, chub, will always will be looking upstream. So, and you are coming from behind, from downstream and casting big bait and above and then the flow will take the bait pretty much in to the chub's eyesight. And as you are not controlling the rig, basically it is taken by the flow, this tiny little float, which is just pretty much to see when the fish took the bait, but you can't control it. But then all the rig is presented very, very naturally. And chub sees big bait presented naturally and it just you know what will happen, it will snatch it immediately. And as they say, those tiny floats are crucial for this method to work because they do not cast any shadows, they are tiny. When the fish takes uh, the bait, they do not feel the resistance as much. So therefore, this little method and this presentation is deadly in my opinion.
Yep. Nice little hold up. I just checked and fish was on. Good fish again. Very nice fish, guys. That's a chunk, guys. That just might be the biggest of a day. Again, digging into those, under those bushes. I just hope the hook stays in, even though I have bubbles. But with the pressure, you know, as long as you are keeping pressure on, it should be all right. Fish came out in open water now. Are you ready? Mine, nice. Maybe not as big as I was thinking, but still. Still good, like I would say, three pounds this will be, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, couple more fish I need. You know, to be happy with the result. I mean, I am super happy already, but to be even more happier, or even more happy, should I say? Couple quality fish would do. Just to speed up the process, I guess I will feed them a little bit. Just free, free, uh, well, free, free pieces of muscle. <laughs> Language is not is not easy for me today, right? Well, not today always, but today extra difficult. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? That was insane, and that might be just very big chub. I wonder. Probably that free, you know, couple pieces of free baits did the trick. Most likely one was sitting deep into the bush and, you know, some bait coming, uh, like, just made him and a couple of his buddies to come out, you know. But that's a big fish. That will be the biggest of a day, guys. Please stay on. That's a massive fish, guys. It might be one of them six pounders. Maybe not, but close. Definitely five, I think, if I saw correctly. Where are you? Just got you. Whew. Oh yeah, guys, that's a five pound chub. Whew. So strong as well. So fat, so fat, so strong. That is one big chub, guys. Long fish as well. A hooked nicely in the corner. Whew. I will put my rod a little bit aside just to show you that fish a little bit better because that's a chunk, guys. That is a chunk. Yeah, guys, easy five pounds, easy. Again, very good condition, very chunky fish. How about that? He has some leech on them. Did I remove it? Not sure. Whew. Okay, maybe they are in that mood today when, when you need to feed them a little bit to make sure that they are coming out of those, you know, of those snacks there. Couple more. I'm not, I'm not going like crazy with a bit anyway. Just a couple of three offerings, you know. That was the biggest fish of a day. Impressive stamp, really. Today, the fish I'm catching, uh, three pound average again. Happy with that, guys, very, very happy. Let's see if, if I will get a bite like immediately now. I will be like certain that it will be the couple bits of that 
free uh, baits in the water, you know. If I will get a quick bite now, it will be clear to me the way they are feeding they need a little bit help coming out from those uh, snags, you know. Yep. Okay, so that's it guys. We know how to catch them now. Again, big fish, big fish. Stays in one place. I just not sure. Not sure if I will be able to land them. That might be even bigger than before, guys. I think it is. That's a massive fish, guys. That's a massive chub. Massive, massive chub. Go up, go up, go up, Mr. Chub. Yeah, <laughs> I can. This one will be six pounds, guys. Easy. Well, not easy, but. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, let's let's chuck a couple of baits in all over the place, which is great. And I will show you that fish now. The hook came out, nice. If I would have scales with me, I would uh, I would weigh this fish because this is a chunk. Oh yeah, guys, easy six six pounds, easy. Just look at that, guys. That is one chunky chub. Easy six pounds, easy, all day long. Three kilo plus fish. Thank you. Whew. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can nail another one. I lost the number, probably probably I'm now on eight fish. I believe I'm on eight fish. And stamp actually now is getting to four pounds with those two uh, last big fish. Okay, I will get ready. Yep. I cannot, and again, big fish, again. Something is happening with my reel. I was thinking I lost it, but no. Fish is still on, but it's in the snags. Came out, Whew. but that's a, is it a bubble? It, Yeah, it's in the snag, I think. No, it's not. It's just very big fish. It's coming out. It must be a bubble. It must be a bubble. I was thinking I lost it because it was different. What's happening here? Is it a chub? I, I don't know, guys. It is a chub. Again, guys. I cannot believe, I cannot believe. Again, easy five pound chub. Just managed to get that. Just look at that, guys. Mwah! Easy five pounds, easy, all day long. <laughs> I was certain that I will lose this fish, you know, because it was kind of pulling so hard. I was thinking it's in the snag and broke me, but no. Okay, let's keep on doing that. A little bit of bait. I mean, I was killing it already, but once I started introducing a little bit of bait, that just transformed how they are feeding today. See, you have to learn every day. You kind of, sometimes you will you know, things that you know, everything that you are on the right method. Little improvements like that. 
I mean, bait introduction can be always good, but this method for me in the past was good without any bait. Deadly without the bait actually, or extra bait or free bait. But today as they are feeding, they are in the bush and just by giving them some free, free things to compete, they are coming out actually. And the biggest ones as well. Will I get one on just 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 about now? No. No. Maybe I caught those those smartest ones, you know, just three in a row. That was insane. Three fish, every single one of them five pounds plus that one was six pounds plus not not much more over six but it was six pounds good length fat fish just big old chub but yeah that's it I think Oh no, my float actually moved a little bit. I noticed that, that my float moved a little bit. That easily can be a reason why I chucked out twice now and it did not get any bite. Okay, let's put a little bit of free bait in as well. That's epic fishing, guys. This is epic. I love them big chub guys, I love them. And another one. This one, not sure if I will get this one out. Was digging, still digging there into those bushes. But just, I think I turned him, I turned him guys. Just turned it around like at the last second that, that fish splashed onto the snags. And again, big fish. Maybe not five pounds, but We'll see. Quality fish. Whew. Yeah, a little bit smaller, but still. <laughs> Easy three pounds, guys. Bosh! This one almost did me in that snag, but just managed to pull him out. Yeah, brand new chub. Mwah! Thank you. No, we'll pull a little, little bit back just to make sure my rig is out from the bushes. It wasn't, damn it. I guess if I will lose this rig, like if I will have to retie a new rig, just not a hook link, I will have to call it. Okay, let's see. Got my floats, that's expected. But yeah, don't have my leader. So yeah, I think I will call it, guys. I uh, just will feed them chub with the bait I have. Just as a thank you, you know, for, for biting. And yeah, enjoyed it very much. Thank you, chub very much and thank you for watching and see you in the next one we'll go back now <laughs>